Minerals are elements that aren't made by your body, but are essential to it. There are two types of minerals. Macro minerals, the ones you need a lot. Trace minerals, small in dose, huge in impact. Let's start with macro minerals. Calcium. Calcium is the backbone of your entire body. It builds and maintains bones and teeth, but it's also behind every heartbeat and muscle contraction. Your nerves use calcium to send signals, and your blood uses it to clot when you get a cut. When calcium drops too low, your body seals it from your bones to keep the rest of you running. That's why long-term deficiency can lead to weak bones, brittle nails, and muscle cramps. Found in dairy, tofu, chia seeds, broccoli, and canned salmon. It works best with vitamin D, magnesium, and phosphorus. Without them, calcium can't reach your bones properly. Phosphorus. Phosphorus teams up with calcium to build your bones and teeth, but it also powers your entire body through ATP, the molecule that fuels every cell. Phosphorus builds your DNA, forms the outer wall of your cells, and activates enzymes that help you process fats and carbs. When phosphorus levels drop, you can experience muscle weakness, bone pain, fatigue, or confusion. Deficiency is uncommon, but can appear with chronic alcoholism, starvation, or heavy antacid use. Found in salmon, chicken, eggs, Greek yogurt, lentils, and almonds. In whole foods, phosphorus naturally comes bound to protein, which your body absorbs gradually and safely. But in processed foods, it's added as phosphate additives that absorb too quickly and pull calcium out of bones over time. Magnesium. Magnesium is the body's quiet power source. It activates more than 300 enzymes that keep energy flowing, muscles contracting, and your heartbeat steady. Every nerve signal and muscle movement depends on it because magnesium controls how calcium and potassium move in and out of cells. Long-term deficiency is linked to poor sleep, high blood pressure, and insulin resistance. Found in pumpkin seeds, almonds, spinach, black beans, and dark chocolate, your cells can't use energy without magnesium. Is that essential? Sodium and potassium. Sodium and potassium form the body's main electrical system. Sodium stays outside your cells, potassium stays inside, and your cells pump them back and forth thousands of times per second. Constant swapping creates the electrical charge that keeps your nerves firing, muscles contracting, and heart beating. Too much sodium or too little potassium can disturb the balance. This makes your blood pressure rise and puts extra strain on your heart. Sodium mainly comes from salt and processed foods. Potassium is richest in bananas, avocados, spinach, and beans. Chloride. Chloride is a crucial electrolyte that keeps your body's fluids balanced and your acid base balance steady, working right alongside sodium and potassium. It also helps your stomach make hydrochloric acid, the strong acid that breaks down food and kills harmful bacteria and assists in carrying carbon dioxide out of the body. Low chloride is pretty rare, but it can happen after heavy sweating, vomiting, or dehydration. When levels drop too low, you might experience muscle weakness, neuromuscular issues like twitching, and even digestion problems since your stomach isn't making enough acid. You'll find chloride in table salt, cheese, seaweed, olives, and canned foods. Sulfur. Sulfur helps build proteins throughout your body. It's also part of keratin, the protein in your hair and nails, and collagen, the protein in your skin and joints. Sulfur inside your cells helps make glutathione, your body's main antioxidant that supports liver detox and keeps cells healthy. It also helps make insulin, the hormone that controls blood sugar. Deficiency can appear as brittle hair, weak nails, or fatigue, often when overall protein intake is low. Found in eggs, especially yolks, garlic, onions, leeks. Now let's move to the trace minerals, the ones you may know by name, but not by what they truly do. And you need only a trace of them, yet they keep your body running. Iron. Iron is what gives your blood its power. It builds hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from your lungs to every part of your body. It's also part of myoglobin, which stores oxygen in muscles and several enzymes that help your cells make energy. When iron runs low, your blood can't carry enough oxygen, leading to weakness, pale skin, shortness of breath, and poor focus. Classic signs of iron deficiency anemia. Found in red meat, liver, fish, lentils, tofu, and spinach. Copper. Copper's main job is to keep oxygen and energy flowing in your body. Without it, iron can't do its work. It also supports enzymes that build connective tissue and protect cells from damage, keeping your bones, skin, and blood vessels strong. Low copper stops your body from using iron properly, leading to anemia that doesn't improve with iron alone. Found in oysters, cashews, almonds, sunflower seeds, dark chocolate, and sesame seeds. Zinc. Zinc helps your body repair tissues, heal wounds, and fight infections. It supports your immune system, keeps your skin healthy, and helps make hormones like testosterone and insulin. 
It also plays a key role in taste, smell, and growth. Every cell that grows or repairs itself needs zinc. It's how your body keeps healing and rebuilding. Low zinc can cause slow wound healing, frequent colds, hair loss, loss of appetite, or reduced sense of taste and smell. Find it in foods like oysters, red meat, chicken, eggs, seeds, and legumes. Iodine. Iodine's main job is to keep your thyroid gland running, the gland that controls your metabolism, meaning how your body turns food into energy. Without enough iodine, the thyroid can't make its hormones, and your body's energy system slows down. Low iodine causes the thyroid to enlarge into a goiter and can lead to fatigue, weight gain, dry skin, and brain fog. Found in iodized salt, seafood, seaweed, eggs, and dairy. People who skip salt or eat mostly processed foods, which often use non-iodized salt, are most at risk. Selenium. Selenium protects your cells from damage and is important for thyroid function. While iodine makes thyroid hormones, selenium activates them. It's part of glutathione peroxidase, an enzyme that neutralizes harmful molecules before they can harm your cells. Low selenium can cause weak immunity or slow thyroid function, and long-term deficiency may raise the risk of heart problems. Found in Brazil nuts, tuna, chicken, brown rice, and whole grains. Manganese. Manganese protects your body's energy centers, the mitochondria, from damage, while helping form healthy bone tissue. It's a key part of an enzyme called superoxide dismutase, which protects your cells from damage during the energy-making process. Low manganese is rare, but can lead to weak bones or slow healing over time. Found in whole grains, oats, nuts, spinach, and black tea. Fluoride. Fluoride's main job is to protect your teeth. It strengthens tooth enamel by forming a tougher mineral layer that resists acid attacks from food and bacteria. Low fluoride can lead to weak enamel and higher risk of tooth decay, while too much can cause white spots on teeth or brittle bones over time, commonly found in toothpaste and water. Chromium. Chromium helps the insulin hormone work more effectively to move sugar into your cells for energy. When chromium is low, insulin's effectiveness is reduced and blood sugar levels can stay higher than normal. Low chromium may cause fatigue and poor blood sugar control, especially if you eat a lot of refined carbs. You can get chromium from black pepper, whole grains, egg yolks, beef, broccoli, and green beans. Molybdenum. Molybdenum's main job is to help your body break down waste and toxins from food and metabolism. It activates enzymes that process sulfur compounds, alcohol, and drug byproducts, turning harmful substances into harmless ones your kidneys can flush out. Without enough molybdenum, these wastes start to build up inside your body. Found in lentils, black-eyed peas, lima beans, kidney beans, and oats, even small amounts meet your daily needs. Cobalt. Cobalt's main role is inside vitamin B12, where it helps make red blood cells and protect nerve cells. Your body doesn't use cobalt on its own, only as part of B12. Deficiency is common in strict vegans. Low B12 can cause anemia, numbness, and memory problems. Found in meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. And that's the full set of essential minerals. Subscribe for more Science Explained Simply.